So what's next for us? Um, so uh, if you know anything about the Tribune Company, the Tribune Company actually owns a bunch of papers around the country. The Baltimore Sun, the Sun Sentinel down in Florida, um, the Daily Color in Allentown, Pennsylvania, really exciting places. Um, and, uh, and so we're going to be developing election center sites that we can actually uh, scale across the company. So that's this is new for us. We've never done that. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, we're going to be doing national results and widgets uh, for the, the uh, uh, November um, general election, um, which promises to be way more exciting than this election. Uh, Rauner is uh, just pumping massive amounts of money um, into his campaign uh, against uh, 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 fairly interesting to watch. Um, <laughs> Oh, so an admission I made, I totally forgot, uh, but if you're a Twitter person, uh, follow at IL Campaign Cash. IL Campaign Cash. That tweets out, uh, not real time, but, but as up to the minute as far as the filings go, uh, campaign finance data for Illinois. Um, so if you want to know how much money is... For, it, it's, it's, it's interesting to watch it if only to just get a sense of how much and how often money is flowing um, to particularly the big candidates. Um, so, um, and you see some interesting effects where like PACs will bundle up a bunch of money. Um, my coworker Abe wrote this, uh, we're really gonna try to integrate it, uh, campaign finance more as we move forward as well. Um, because we know that that's a big area of interest. Um, another thing that we wanna do is kind of a big board results page. Um, NPR at the last, in the last national election did something that was very ideal for projection that showed all the major national races, um, Congress, President, um, et cetera. And so we'd like to do something, we'd like to sort of steal their idea and do something like that ourselves. Um, we'd like to pull in more cover, we'd like to pull coverage in to, to work alongside the results. Um, a little better than we have in the past. Uh, people are, so this gets into that dynamic, right? We know that people are gonna come to our site, and they're gonna stay on the site like six times longer than they would normally stay on any Tribune site, at least six times longer. Um, and that these are probably high engagement, right? Like we know that people are scrolling around the page, we know that people are interacting with it, we know that at groups like this, people are actually projecting it. Um, so we wanna capture that. Um, and, and make that uh, into something that, that and this and, um, just as a quick detour, um, my editors really don't like to talk about money. <laughs> and it's good. It's really good that they don't like to talk about money. Like, they want to talk about the reporting and the journalism. Um, but it's a weird place to be when you're working on the web, especially for an institution like a newspaper that is in financial straits. Um, to not think about the return on investment, um, to think about the revenue that your products are generating, um, and to refine your products based on, on what you know about your about your audience. Um, I hope that doesn't sound too simple. Yeah, that doesn't sound too simple. It's just really important for us. So uh, let's see. I guess that was it. Yeah. So. I guess the last thing, I, I, I want to talk a little bit about just, you know, maybe it sounds a little cynical to be talking about the money aspect of elections, um, but also just, what, are, what do elections mean? You know, they're complicated. Um, there's a lot of money that goes into them. Um, sometimes they feel like a tremendous amount of spectacle that we do very, you know, that, that any individual has very little power over. Um, and it, it can be really, it can be really curious, sort of knowing that there's going to be this huge audience coming the day after the election, right? Um, because they, you know, a lot of people are just interested in what happened, not necessarily in participating, not necessarily in, in um, this is doing anything about it, just sort of spectating. Um, and so uh, last night on Twitter. Uh, Sort of sad, actually, to see you all here tonight uh, because there's a bet down in Hyde Park uh, by a woman named uh, 
I'm her name, uh, Marie Brown. Um, about Octavia Butler, the great science fiction writer. Um, and it sounded awesome, and I've seen it to be this again. Um, I've missed her every time she's come to Chicago. Afrofuturism represent. It's awesome. You should learn about it. Um, but uh, so she's presenting on, on uh, Octavia Butler. And last night we were going back and forth on Twitter. I was like, you know, I, in honor of Octavia Butler, maybe there's something that Octavia Butler has to say about politics, which she has lots to say about politics, but specifically elections. And uh, and so my buddy sent me sent me uh, this this poem um, by Octavia Butler that I thought would be a good thing to end with as far as why do elections matter. So choose your leaders with wisdom and forethought. To be led by a coward is to be controlled by all that the coward fears. To be led by a fool is to be led by the opportunists who control the fool. To be led by a thief is to offer up your most precious treasures to be stolen. To be led by a liar is to ask to be told lies. And to be led by a tyrant is to sell yourself and those you love into slavery. So that's why elections matter. Thank you.